Hello, this is Mike, and welcome to Lesson 38 of PHP Programming. And last time we worked with the CELTS uh, program for storyboarding and movie making, and we created a database. And what we're going to do now is complete that database and make it relational. And uh, in order to do that, let me just explain to you what a relational database is. Here's a little flash drawing that I have of a relational database. And so as we've seen earlier with the Silk software, there were sequences, and each one of these sequences had a series of shots in them. Now, there's many ways to lay this out in data, but the most efficient way is to put all your sequences into one table, and then all your pages in another table. And then to, you need to relate those two with some type of ID. So we're actually going to use the ID from the sequences table and put that by each one of the different pages of the pages table. And that's how we're going to create our relational database. So let's go ahead and create it, discuss it, and then uh, I think it'll make a lot of sense to you. So we're going to go back to MySQL and uh, go back and begin working with the database. So remember what we did to go to the PHP My Admin. You want to click on this little system icon down here, and up will come your PHP My Admin. And the database we we're working with was Storyboard Example, and let's click on that. And we had made one table, and that was a sequences table, and it had five columns in it. So now let's make our pages table. It's very easy to create a table. You're just going to hit Pages. And then we want to put the number of fields. Now let me think, how many fields do we need? Now let's go back and take a look at the Celt software. Well, here's the CELTS software, and, uh, and as you can see, we have our sequences here, and our pages are here. And what's inside a page? Well, inside a page, you actually have a number, and you have a title of the shot. So basically, it's not the title shot. It's actually the type of shot that you have. And then you have a uh, text box, a uh, image, and below that, you're going to see you actually have a scratch pad image that you might create in another program. So I'm looking at least at maybe five possibilities there, but I want to add at least three more. So we're going to have eight or nine fields. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we're back in PHP My Admin. We're going to add our pages table. We're going to make it relational. So let's first just give it a name here, pages. It's very easy to add uh, pages to a uh, database. And then we're going to need nine fields. Now, why do we need nine fields? Well, let's just take a look at a little diagram I have here. The first field will be the ID of the pages table, so we need that ID. The sequences ID will come from the other table, and that's what tells our pages where to go, and that makes our table relational. Then we're going to have a shot type. That's just a type of shot. The description for the shot type, a JPEG, a sketch, and then just three extra parameters in case we need to add something later. So we'll go ahead and go with that and hit our Go button here. And now we're going to start putting in our characters. So the first one is the ID for the database. That is an integer, and we want to make sure we check that as our primary key. All right. And so just put primary right there and hit auto increment. And that allows your uh, keys to be auto incremented as you add data. The next one will actually it's what makes the database uh, relational, and that's just a reference from the other data. So whenever I put a page into this particular database, I use the reference. ID or key from the other uh, table that tells it, hey, it came from this table and it's supposed to go under this topic. So once again, both of these have links of 11. And then I want to come along here and do my shot type. And that's a var card, which is 255 max, uh, but 255. And then the next I'm going to put in here is a description, and that's going to actually be a text description. What you might want to ask yourself is, what is this character type anyway, and why do I have to uh, uh, delineate it? Well, you're going to save space. You don't want everything to be maximum value. And uh, this type, you've already seen types in PHP. We talked a lot about them, and there's not much different than that. But if you go to the web, you can just type just about anything you want in as far as SQL types, and some table will come up. Let me bring a table up for you and just explain some of the important types. Here's a table I pulled from w 3 School. It's a nice little table, but there's tables all over the web. So the var card. Well, what's a var card? Well, it holds a variable length strings, and that string can have 255 characters. Oh, well, there you have it. So what, in a sense, I'm doing is strict typing my database values. What is a text? A text, we just worked with that. It holds a string with a maximum value 
of 65,535 characters. So that's a lot longer than a var car. So when you have a, a little piece of text that you want to put in there, longer than a title, you would use text. But there's another one I use sometimes as well, and that is uh, long text. And I'm really getting lengthy, and it holds a very long string right up in the, the trillions there. So uh, just look at the menus like this, and you set your variables to whatever you might need. Let's go down a little bit more. There's the tiny int that will go from minus 128 to 127. And then the one that we're using, you're seeing lots of the integer, which has, you know, 11 possible with the negative sign characters. And it goes from minus 21474836482 to 21474836. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't say that number. And it's a large number, but it's an integer number. And just keep that in mind. There's limitations on your data. And if you get beyond that, then you're going to have problems. Here's floats and doubles and decimals. So all these uh, the strict typing are in the database uh, uh, language and no reason to be scared of it and you may not know what it means but there's your tables and once again just go to the web grab a table and you can look at what that means. So the next one we had was uh, just a JPEG and that's going to be a var car as well. Right. Notice I did have to put a number in for the text. I already know what that's going to be. And then let's go down a little bit more. We're going to have the scratch pad, I think, my sketch. And the next three are just going to be parameters. And we'll max that once again out at 255, but we can change that. And now that we've added my sketch, we have uh, three more just basic generic parameters to add. Parameter 1, and then it'll also be a var car. 255. And parameter 2 which is a var car two fifty five and parameter three Now remember once again, we're only in development, so uh, you can have these parameters 1, 2, and 3 and, and not look like you're doing bad database programming because when you turn around toward the end, you're going to actually give these more specific names once you've done your development. And we're going to go back and forth uh, once we build a database, getting it connected, getting it working in the right software, and getting it hooked up to PHP. So there's a lot of work here, and we're just in the first basic uh, set. But remember, once again, we've made it relational by just adding a sequence number that comes from the table before it, from the sequence table. So that's it. Go ahead and hit the save key and you've created your table. And here's all the SQL code required to make that table occur. Now, I just want to make a point here and it's uh, somewhat a SQL religious point if you want to say that. Some people say SQL, some people say SQL. Some people say MySQL, some people say MySQL. I say MySQL, I say SQL because I came from the military. So your pages table is created. It is relational because it now has a sequence ID. And so whenever you input uh, something from the sequence, you'll be using this ID as your sequence ID. So each of the pages knows where it's supposed to go as you add data. At this point, I haven't showed you how to program it. And uh, we're going to be doing that in future videos. But I just want to get your table set up. So in the next video, we can create the connection code. So let's review quickly what we did. We discussed what a relational database was. We went to phpMyAdmin and we created a sequence table and we created a pages table. And we related these two by using the ID from the sequence table and putting it into the pages table. And that's pretty much all we covered. Pretty simple topic, but you've got to get that database right and now we're ready to start using it. And next time, we'll connect our database to PHP. So thanks for listening. This was Mike Lively.